As you guys can tell by the intro, today we're gonna to be doing a very clean, minimalistic style for Instagram Reels, or honestly, your YouTube videos as well. And before we go ahead and jump straight into the video, I wanna let you guys know that all of the practice footage is gonna be down below for you guys to use and actually practice with. So that way you guys can take exactly what I'm teaching you and implement it into your own workflow. So go ahead and grab that footage down below. And one last thing before we go ahead and get started, my minimal editing style pack is what we're gonna be using for today's tutorial. If you guys wanna go ahead and copy it, link will be down in the description below, but it won't be necessary because I'm going to still show you guys the sauce on how to actually achieve the editing style. So let's go ahead and jump straight into Adobe Premiere Pro. I want to show you guys the edit that I actually made before. This is the cleanest editing style that you will see on Instagram. I created a list of presets to go ahead and make. And as you guys can see, it's a very simple, super effortless looking sort of style that looks really, really good paired with good A-roll and B-roll. And the best thing about this style is it's super easy to do, like genuinely very, very simple. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. So first things first, once you you guys kind of have your a roll um cut up color graded same thing with your b roll kind of place where you want it you're gonna go ahead and go to text you're gonna hit the three dots you're gonna go to generate static transcript just like so hit this drop down menu i'm gonna do into out only because that's what i need then just go ahead and hit transcribe this is gonna actually auto do your text slash captions for you um and then i'm just gonna go ahead and hit create captions just like this we're gonna bring this all the way down just like so. So that way there's not many words popping up. So the higher number this is, the more actual characters will show up on the line. And then the minimum duration, meaning if this is higher, then it's going to take a lot more time to actually go to the next sort of set of words. And you don't want that. So you just want it to be zero gap between captions. You don't want any gaps at all. Otherwise, it'll look really, really bad. Lines single. Then hit create captions and then there you go. It's actually done for you. We're gonna go ahead, first things first, select all of the text or captions, go to properties and make sure that it's the right font. Uh, very popular fonts for this style is Montserrat, just like this, this one, Franklin, Gothic, heavy. That's a very popular one. Or one of my favorites is actually Open Sans or or another one is open sauce or sans, whatever one. They actually both look very similar, but I like open sauce, sans, and then black, just like so. And then we're gonna go ahead, center this right like this, make the text a little bigger. I'm gonna make the shadow uh, a lot less apparent. So I'm gonna just feather it out a lot and then maybe bring the actual opacity down just like that, just where it's super, super subtle. And then one of the other things you guys can go ahead and do is turn the actual letter spacing down, which makes everything look a lot more clean and about a value of like negative 40 or so will do good. And then we're just going to go ahead and go through the video and make sure that we're placing our text properly, or at least in the general area where we want it for the final edit. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and just start from the beginning. And from the beginning, I actually just want the text sort of in this little segment above my head. So I'm just going to go ahead and select all of the text. We're going to go to position and I'm just going to loosely throw it where I think I want it. So kind of like this is where I would like it. That looks good. And I'm just going to go ahead and play through and I'm going to move on to the next scene. So I actually want this one to be centered. I created a list of presets to go ahead and make these effects effortlessly each and every single time. But I'm going to show you. Guys. And then I'm honestly just going to go back, select this just like so. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. So make the position up and then just drag it to where I want it just slightly above my head like that that's kind of where i want it looks good do a couple of these and then when i say so you can do it yourself i actually want this part to be centered so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that so you can do it yourself but and then see if there's any other part where i want to center it on instagram i created a list of presets to go ahead and make these effects effortlessly each and every single time but i'm going to show you guys Okay, yeah. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and go into each and every single section and kind of make like my topography sort of effects. And this is kind of where the real sauce starts to take place. First things first, let's just go ahead and select everything in the first section. Go to graphics and titles. Now, technically you could do this for all of the text if you want at the same time, but I like to work in sections. It keeps it pretty chill, pretty easy to keep, you know, in order. I'm actually gonna go ahead. I want like sort of the last two things to be on Instagram. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this up. I'm gonna change the text right here. So just double click and then just delete that. And then just delete this like this. So on Instagram and I actually want 
these to be animated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to staircase them is kind of what I call it because it's kind of a staircase sort of effect. And then I'm just going to go ahead and select both of these. I'm going to go to my takeover editing pack or minimal style editing pack, which by the way, down below, if you want to go ahead and cop, uh, I'm just going to do a slide in up slow, just like this. So as you guys can see, it's doing that, but it's like overlaying with each other. So we don't want that. The way you fix it is you actually go to Instagram and you just kind of bring this down below like that. And then also I'm going to drag this over and drag this end out just like this. So we can kind of get a bigger picture or a better picture of what's actually going to be. So I'm going to move that down just a little bit more. And then I'm just going to go ahead and play it through. You will see on Instagram. That looks really, really smooth. Um, one thing is it actually everything looks too low. So I'm going to right click this and we're going to nest it together. So that way we can move both of these at the same exact time, just like this. And we're going to see how that looks. See on Instagram. That looks actually way better than the demo that I showed you guys. We're going to keep it. And if we want from here, we can make everything bigger like so. So we could do this if we want. I'm not a big fan of that. So I'm actually just going to leave it as is because it looks really, really clean. But let's actually say you didn't have the pack. Let me go ahead and show you guys exactly how I went ahead and did it from scratch. Okay, so first things first, let's just go ahead and animate the word on and then we'll just kind of go from there. So you guys want to go to transform, go to the transform tool just like that. Um, go ahead and find it. Mine is down here, transform, drag and drop it. And then we want to check this. So that way we could turn the shutter angle up. If you turn up the shutter angle and this isn't checked, the motion blur won't take effect. So the biggest thing that we are going to be affecting is the position and the opacity. The opacity, we're going to move the keyframe over just like this by clicking this icon and moving the opacity keyframe like that. And we're just actually going to make this like about like 30 or 25 percent, not from zero. Um, and then we're going to go to position. We're going to move this over to kind of where we want it, which is right there. And then we're just going to drag this down like so. Maybe just about like that. And then we're just going to go ahead and see how this looks right there. You guys can tell that it looks really, really bad. And that's actually good because we need to move this out a little bit more. So that way we get the right speed. And now we want to select both of these keyframes just like this to where they're both highlighted. Right click temporal interpolation and Bezier and then select the first keyframe hit this drop down menu and we're going to be playing with the velocity. So I'm just actually going to move this over just like this and then bring it down and it's going to create like a little bit of a ramp. Be on. And as you guys can see, it looks way smoother. Be on. And I actually personally really like that. So we're just going to keep it just like that. We're just going to right click on this transform and we're going to save it as a preset. So that way you guys can go ahead and make your own minimal editing style pack, kind of like I did. Or you guys can skip the time of creating yourself and just cop right now. Right click, save preset, and then just do like um, smooth text slide in up. And then you can go ahead and hit OK and it'll go into your effects tab and you just type in smooth text slide in up drag and drop it to all of your other text. So that's how you do the sort of first slide in effect. So now there is another stylistic effect and that is actually just the blur sort of text effect. And what I like to do personally is grab this blur effect right here, drag and drop it onto my text. And if it's too blurry, which I actually like this style, you guys could actually go and change the blur amount just like that, which actually we'll just do this for tutorial sake. We'll change it. We'll control C. And then we'll just go ahead, command V, so that way we paste the blur effect onto all of the text like so. This is the cleanest editing style that you will see on Instagram. And that looks really, really clean. You guys can go ahead and apply it right here, just like that. See on Instagram. And that's very, very simple. Legit, all you guys gotta do, if you don't have the pack, is go to Gaussian Blur, and then just drag and drop the Gaussian Blur effect, and then just turn it up to as much as you need or as little as you need, so maybe about six. To 15 is pretty solid for what you need. And before we move on to the next step, I want to go ahead and add in a camera movement. So adding a camera movement is very simple. You just go to adjustment layer like so, drag and drop it above the sort of hook area. And then I'm going to go to the takeover minimal pack again, just like this. Go to camera pull. And this is meant for like intros. This is the cleanest. Editing. And as you guys can see, it kind of makes a 3D camera movement this like that. Or if you guys want to like kind of zoom in a little bit more like this, this is the you guys can do that. That, you will see on it. that looks pretty solid. Now let's go ahead and create this sort of second effect. I created a list of presets to go ahead. 
Okay, so how do we do that? We want to go ahead and just again select the text above, just like so. Go to graphics and templates, upgrade caption to graphic. I'm going to go ahead and hit escape so that way I can like kind of bring all of the text down. And then we're going to do the staircase method once again, just like this. Once we have that, go ahead and extend it out to the end. And then I'm going to go ahead and just select all of these. And we're just going to do the same exact thing with the minimal slide in up preset. And then we're going to go to the end. And then here's where like kind of the real sauce happens. You guys want to start from the top of the staircase and move down. So I'm just going to move this over like so. Move that down. So go to the position Y value, turn it down just like that. I'm going to go to presets. Just like this. I'm going to move this down as well. So kind of like that. And I can see I kind of messed up right here where it says a list created a list. There we go. And then as we can see, when we play it back, it kind of is already doing its thing. I created a list of presets to go ahead. I created a list of presets to go. Ahead. Okay. So I actually have an extra line of text that I don't want. So I'm just going to do an extra list of presets. So let's go ahead and play it through. I created a list of presets. Okay, now that's really dope. I'm just gonna go ahead and move this presets over here like so. List of presets. There you go. That feels a lot more smoother. And now this is where you can either leave it as is, or you guys can kind of get creative with the arrangement of the layers. So let's say maybe you just want to move this over like so. Maybe bring this like this, bring it up, bring it over, just like so, and then maybe uh, leave the list, maybe move this just like, like so. I created a list and then maybe you want to make the presets a little big like this. Yeah, maybe something like that. And then play it through, see if it looks good. I created a list of presets. That looks pretty fire. And now I'm just gonna actually go ahead and reposition all of this to center in the screen and make it all look a little bigger. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and full screen the timeline, select all of these, right click nest. So that way we could piece it all together or glue it together essentially. And then we're just going to position it exactly where we want it. I'm going to make it a little bigger, just like this. And then we're just going to go ahead and play through. I created a list of presets to go. That looks sick. And then let's say we want to add like a little animation to like kind of animate it out. We could actually go ahead and do a flicker out. So I actually have a preset as well like that. To go ahead. Drag and drop and it'll like kind of flicker out. But if you don't have that, just go ahead and hit P on your keyboard. Make a little, make a ton of little dots like this. Just like so. And then every single one just kind of do random little flicker. And this is actually animating your opacity. Just like this. And let's go ahead and see how that looks to go ahead and make and there you go you have your flicker sort of effect you could also save that as a preset by going over here go to the opacity right click save preset and then do anchor to out point and then just rename it to whatever you want so flicker preset and then there you go you made your flicker preset and then once you know how to do those sort of two effects you can pretty much recreate any sort of reel in this style that you want for your own content or for your client's content which I think is very, very dope. It's legit just pretty much two to three effects that you really need to really hone in on this style. But anyways, guys, that is it for today's tutorial. If you guys learned something, please let me know. And let me know down in the comment section if I should keep adding raw video because I don't mind it, but I'm not going to add the extra step if you guys actually don't want them anymore. Thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for watching this video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. Remember, take action, take over. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.